guys, Nash. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jazzy from My Geek Review here at Indicate. We're finally 2012. Here at, uh, 2012. <laughs> um, we actually have a collaboration teamwork with uh, Classy Deer. Thank you very much, guys. The indie developers are going to be here, but the cool thing is the big boys of the industry are here to check those Sony games out. Sony is here. This is the fifth here. year of Indicate, right and there. it's been hosted here in downtown Culver City since birth. <laughs> so we're going to be bringing you a lot of stuff here at Indicate, and it's going to be really fun. You're alone with the self machine. You're alone with the self machine. You're all alone. Hey, what's up guys? Jazz here from My Geek Review. I'm here with John and we are playing Pong on a different scale. 4D, 3D, Blind D, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Can you tell me what this game is about? It's called Open Source. Yeah, so... So what is Open Source? So it's a physical game of Pong uh -huh. where uh, you are the paddle. And we use the Kinect to track your body and you move side to side like uh, you move paddle and pong. And so what happens is we have these headphones uh -huh. and you wear them and you can hear the ball as it gets closer. Uh, and if it's louder, this tone that it emits. And, Not bad. And as it gets farther away, it gets softer. What made you come up with the idea of a uh, virtual tennis but just playing the sound? Well, uh, we kind of conceived it as an art installation and the idea was this crossover between sort of virtual play and uh, real play. And where can they find this game if they want to check it out? Well, it's free to download. You can go to supersoul.co. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Supersoul is our company. And we put all our, our games up there for free and they can download them. Hey guys, Nash here from Reggie Review with Mr. Graham Smith for Guacamelee. So Graham, tell us about Guacamelee. Okay, so Guacamelee is a mishmash of a lot of different things. At its heart, it's a brawler, 2D brawler but it also has platforming and puzzle elements. It's set in like a Metroidvania style world. We have the concept of these two overlapping dimensions, which the player has to swap between while they're platforming and while they're fighting. And then it's all wrapped in like a Mexican package. We're gonna release on uh, PS3 and PS Vita early next year. You're in love with